Hi. Okay, totally yeah. unplanned. Totally <laughs> unplanned. Okay, unrehearsed. Unrehearsed. I understand that my children want to write a book of what we're doing because, in a sense, we're producing plants that are edible, and we use them in the home every day. So there's a possibility of what we're doing. You too can also do it, and perhaps even better, since we are writing this book to show our do's and don'ts in the working field. Okay. That's what we want our home to be, is, is a, Demo an example. Live demonstration. Yeah, you know, our experiments, our failures, our pro, you know, what worked, what didn't work is because every year we're experimenting of try to do it for the lazy man's way because kind of well, we're not lazy, but we <laughs> we just we experiment with different ways that make it easier and most efficient for busy city people who don't have time to be in the garden and at the same time we're producing. Yeah, we have chayas and sweet potatoes and try doing berries. We try all kinds of different exotic and native and uh, regular everyday vegetables and plants. So the idea is to use our home as an example and to take, most people want to go live this, leave the city to create their own little sustainable oasis, but we can't have everybody leave the city. So we need then to- Then you will have a city. Right. Well, not only that, but then you just bring the population out there and then ruin the outer skirts. So inside the city, we all need to learn how to live regeneratively and with creating each part of our urban spaces, something producing instead of just a sinkhole of money, we can make each one of our spaces produce that gives back to the community. And that's what we would like to do. And I think that an investor or patron out there should be really interested in this idea as a legacy of creating a space that is an example, a teaching example for the rest of the world out there. And it's not even a full price home. I mean, we're only asking for you to uh, buy out my ex so that you have his, you can own his share. And then eventually if our ideas work where we're producing enough to give to the community, uh, bringing people in, teaching them about the space, having hosting underground restaurants or um, having converting the garage into a studio space so somebody can sleep here and you know get firsthand experience with our experiments all these different ways could bring in money for the house which would help pay the taxes and also maybe one day we can buy back your share at the roi of your interest or of your desire or whatever um so yeah so we really think you should consider um helping us to save our home. All we ask is that you buy out my ex of his portion and then let us, all three of us continue to live here. We convert the garage into a studio space for those who want to come and help out or want to be a part of it. And they get fresh, you know, homemade meals that we make for them. We can teach them about body listening. In fact, that's actually one of the ideas is having renting out like the front yard or backyard space for private yoga instructors. And there's all kinds of great ideas that we can do with our home. And we have this lovely grandma <laughs> and this lovely son here who want to be a part of it. And we all, you know, will help manage and create this space and, and do all we can so that you get your full money's worth as an investor and a patron in this really cool idea that we have. And we think you should invest. Please sign up to our YouTube channels and find us on Facebook at crinniteagle.com slash our Facebook links. I think that's it. And then link in description. Right. And then go there and contact us so that we can get started or that you can be a part you can get started and being a part of this and save our home. Thank you. Thank you. Mwah. Remember. Mwah. Mwah. Yes. Thank you. Grow plants and to just breathe. <sighs> ah.